Hey, welcome. My name is Ed. Today we have five minutes of useless information and opinions. Any of these topics you want me to make a video on, uh, let, definitely let me know in the comment section. Uh, I might be able to make that happen. If anybody happened to wonder about the SVT Focus, whether it's fast or not, it is slow. Next, electrical connectors. The proper way to crimp these, you see where it's has that line there. Well, the proper way to crimp them on your crimpers, so you got the line on the rounded part, and the other part is what actually crimps in to hold the wire. And that's how you uh, properly crimp these style of connectors. People do the turbo. One of the most common issues they have is they don't block off this here for the intake, and they don't block off that for the PCV valve. And so what can happen is, is the boost builds pressure and it has to fill up all the air inside the engine before it can get to here and you're not building any type of uh, boost when that happens. Also on top of that is your crankcase ends up building up pressure. The pressure has nowhere to go. So all of a sudden you start getting oil leaks and things like that happening and then uh, it's, very not, it's not good for your engine. That's it. The SVT Focus is basically a Focus ST from Europe just rebadged as a SVT and some other small changes. 95% of it is going to be the same as the Focus ST. So when you go to put in gas, if it has a sticker that says top tier, uh, that means it's been certified to have um, a higher level of detergents than uh, some other brands that haven't been certified. So if you want the best gas, go with the top tier. Uh, I might make another video on that, uh, explaining more about the top tier program and uh, my personal opinions on the program. Things I don't like about it, things I do like about it, etc. If you want to watch that video, let me know. I'll make it. Next is when you go to buy your speakers, a lot of speakers will have listed on the website or on the seller's website, uh, basically a dyno sheet of the speaker that will tell you what frequency it plays and plays well at. And it'll go from, you know, low hertz to high hertz and et cetera. So when you're building your system, you can use that first to determine what is the right speaker for what you're doing. But you can also do that when you're doing your tweeter. You can make sure you hit the frequency range that hits to the midwoofer. And then you can make sure the midwoofer goes low enough to hit the top part of your subwoofer. And so you got an even uh, flow going all the way across if you use these charts correctly. A QR25 engine will make more power per PSI than an SR20 per PSI. It's a matter of which one's going to blow up first. There is a statistical chance of 78% that you watching this video have not been subscribed to my channel. I don't know why I threw that in there. All right, so you're working on a car and you're not very familiar and you're still learning. Things can look very complicated. Things can look like it's a whole lot of work to do and for simple things. And so what I got to say is simplify it. Simplify it in your head. 95% of everything you do on a car consists of a nut or a bolt. That's it. You're unbolting nuts and bolts and retightening them. There is a very little actual um, true skill involved in doing a lot of the work on top of here. Uh, the only skill that it requires besides turning these stupid things is the ability to troubleshoot and figure out what's going on. Most people don't realize there's two different types of intercoolers. Actually, there's multiple types, but the two common types, you're gonna have bar and fin, that is this one. Then you got tube and fin. I don't know if you can see the difference. The bar and fin is a lot more effective than the cheaper tube and fin uh, intercoolers. So if you see this on someone's car, you know they got a cheap setup. Back pressure is never beneficial to your engine, never. Proper scavenging can be though. When people say just slap a K20 in it, slap in a VQ engine in it, Slap in whatever engine inside of whatever car, it doesn't matter. 99% of the time, they have no fucking clue how hard it is to do those kind of swaps. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, now I need to get back to uh, fixing this car because it's broken. Yay. Peace, aloha, catch you on the next one.